Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I dug out this um, cover button kit and a bunch of fabric. So we're gonna try to make buttons together using some of this shabby chic fabric that I have. You need um, smaller prints or larger prints that you can take pieces of. And I thought, whoops, that might not be, well, maybe we'll see. Um, I picked out the ones that I thought would work best in buttons. Some of these may be large, but I thought maybe this would look pretty. So let me um, open these up and let's get started. It looks as though we can make five different size buttons. These larger ones probably would be good for some of these uh, larger flowers on here possibly. And you can even make some teeny tiny ones which maybe these little flowers would be perfect for that or even the next size up. I have the fabrics all sorted out. The smaller ones were kind of challenging because you had to find very small prints to put in them. And I tend to have larger prints for the shabby chic. So the next thing we wanna do, I'll just grab what's in front of me, is you wanna create, this is gonna be the image I'm using for the center. You want to fold it in half and just kind of create a circle. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you just want to create a circle. And this is the first time I'm doing this with you guys. I've never done it before. And the quality of these, that's not, that's not a circle, but we'll we'll get it into a circle shape the quality of these button things i mean they're they're great for what we use them for 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 journals and things like that but it's not something i would buy this quality and put it on clothing all right let's see if this will even work and then what you want to do is you have this little i don't even know what you want to call it piece in this piece so you want to take your fabric and you want to place it in along with your top, this rounded piece. I'm excited to try this. I've had it for a while. I hope I didn't cut this too short. Let's see. Let's just push it and see. I'm not caring the way that's centered. Let's move it about and see if we can move it a little. Now that I have it in here, I don't even know if I can get it out. Let's see. You know what? Hold on. I'm wondering if it might be easier to do this and then trim it after. Let's try that. You know, trim it once I have it in here. That's cool. I think I'm going to try to do that see what happens like I said this is a first for me so and you want to fold all of the fabric in whoops and you want to place this make sure it's all folded in it probably could have been a little bit bigger let's give it a whirl and see then you, i guess you take this and you just push it down i don't think you need that much strength now let's see how to get the damn thing out there hey that's not too bad i like that but that could have been a little bit longer so let's try I think this is going to be too small, but I might be able to use it on a smaller one. So let's try this. Let's try one of the big, big ones. And I like the idea of placing, placing it in first. I figured let's try a big rose.
cool. Let's do another. Which one shall we try? Let's try this one. Here we go. Much better. So we'll fold these in. And I hope I didn't fold it too short. Does that one even fit in there? I wonder if I picked the right one. Yeah, I think I did. Maybe not. Hmm. Seems a little small. But let's test it out and see. This one is not as easy as the other one was. I'm not sure why, guys. I'm wondering if I have the wrong button thing. I think I might. Let's try this. Are they the same size? They seem to be. Let's try this one. That might be the problem. No. Nope. Hmm. Sometimes. I wonder if you even need that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Huh. Oh. It did somewhat work. Just need to push it down a little harder. Maybe I can do it. Just like this. This one didn't come out the best. But again, if we're just going to glue a button down. Now let's try a teeny tiny one. I want to figure out why that one's giving me so many problems. All right, so for the teeny tiny one, I thought this one's tough, especially if you're not good with using your fingers. That's a little bit over. I want to try to make this so we can see this little bud here. There we go. Gonna trim this a little. Fold it in. I don't like doing the little ones. I've got really bad arthritis. And um, maybe for you younger ones, it might be easier. Not for me. Okay, let's see. I got to figure out what's, uh, what's wrong with that medium size one because I like that size. These are so easy to make. Kind of addictive, actually. Let's see if we can pop this out. Pop. There's a teeny tiny one. Shall we try another big, big one? We're going to do this again in the middle just so we don't run into that same problem. Trim a little. Don't want to do too much because we want to be able to fold this in. I think finally now I'm getting it. I just want to figure out what the heck is up with that one. There we go. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. All right, we're gonna, let's try to attack this one again. 
move this stuff aside. I wanted to use this. I think it's a little small, this piece of fabric. So let's just move on to this one. Oh, you know, we already did one like that. Let's do this one. And I think I took the wrong, I didn't take that size out. I thought I did, but I didn't. This might have even looked better on a larger one, but we'll give it a whirl and see. So the secret is, is not cutting this too short, is what I found. And you want to kind of make sure this is snug, because when you put it in, you want it to be, your button to be snug, the fabric. So let's push, push. <laughs> See this one, for some reason it goes with this, you know. There we go. Made in China. <laughs> Sometimes isn't always. Fabulous. This is not supposed to be doing this. It's not supposed to be this difficult. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just use the smaller one. This stinks. Did I put it on the wrong side? <laughs> I might have, but this should still work. Let's hope. Let's just move it over here because that side didn't go down as well. Hmm. Not perfect. See, it got caught. I don't know if this is the sizing is off or something. I think what I might do is keep it in here and maybe see if it'll stretch a little bit. I don't like that one as much. So now I wanna try this one. I'm thinking I wanna find that other size button, which this might be it. Let's see how this, this would fare. Push it, make it sure it's nice and snug in there. Trim around. And remember, we're not trimming around so it's long. I mean, short. I'd say maybe half an inch, quarter of an inch above. That might be too thick because it is a smaller button. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Nope. There we go. Don't know why. Oh, you know what? Crazy me. I did it on the wrong side. It's supposed to be on the hollow side. Now that makes sense why that wasn't working. Let me just make sure I've got all these ends in here before I push it down. 
You know, I thought about redoing this video, but I, you know what? I'm supposed to be learning along with you guys. There we go. Up oh, here, I did it again. <laughs> hmm. Let's go see what's going on. I think someone is target practice or something out there. I just heard a big boom. And the dog got kind of upset. I don't know why the other one went so much easier than this size. Let's try. No, that's not going to cut it. I'm wondering if I have too much fabric in there. You know, it's very possible these things shrunk. Because the other ones were inside, and this wasn't inside. Okay, it's not. There we go. <laughs> nope. I wonder if it's the way I put it in. You know, I think maybe there's too much fabric. And it's keeping it from not going down. So let's try to reduce some of this fabric and see if that might be our problem. Because if you think about it, if there is too much fabric, it's going to be too bulky and it's not going to be able to push in. So let's see if we cut it down to here. That works better. I don't understand why it's going to the side. This is pushed all the way in. Let's trim this side up a little. Should be okay. My husband pulling in. <laughs> now I'm beginning to wonder if this. All right, hold on. Hey guys, I'm back. Whew, that was a crazy few hours. So that beeping, we live, our backyard abuts a major thoroughfare that takes you up to the White Mountains and all the lakes. And our neighbor across from the highway, um, that was her. And her sheds were on fire. And she happens to be our nurse practitioner and her husband is our septic guy. So she runs in, she's crying her eyes out. She hands me her kids and her cat. Her kids are crying. So I had to kind of calm them down. And then um, I called my husband because he was a firefighter. In our town, the fire department isn't that great. So he was over there helping and everything was fine. They lost two sheds and part, some of their garage. And it was all from burnt embers. They had them. Um, they had come back from camp, I guess, yesterday. And they were put out, and they had them in their truck or something, I don't know, or, or he dumped it out of the truck, and when he moved the embers, everything caught. So that's what happened. So I've come to the conclusion I do not like the smaller ones of these. I, I just, I don't like them. 
They're not easy to, as easy to work with. I like the larger ones. Whoops. And it could be the quality because these aren't that great. So I'm going to look and find a better quality for you guys. You know, you get what you pay for. So this one, what I decided to do is take a piece of this satin, this uh, blush color, and a piece of that vintage lace that I have. I have a lot of. And I'm going to see if I can kind of layer it and see what it looks like layered. So let's trim this down and see if we can do something with this. So let's see how this works out. You want to fold all of this in. And put the big one down. Just make sure it's all folded inside. I wonder if you could almost put a little glue in there to keep it down. Let's push this in. Oops. And, and again, I don't like these cheaper ones. I'm not going to use these. Well, I'll use them, and then I'm going to look for some better ones. So let's see how the layered look. These larger ones are so much easier to use. Ooh, look at this. And it's all in on the sides. I like that. And, you know, why can't we put an embellishment in the center? Let me go grab something. I was looking for this. And I thought that would look really pretty on top. I it, I don't really have anything, I don't think, that could be a good contrast at, at, right now. But I think this would might look really nice on top. Especially if you're doing something like wedding-y or really elegant looking. There we go. I also thought of maybe even taking a piece of this and you could have put whoop, just this straight across, but I like this. And then I pulled this out of, I have a scrap pile. I pulled this out of my scraps and I thought we could try to make one with that. So you could always cut. Ooh, if we can get that in the center, that would be really cool. All right, let's try another. Let's see. Oh, oh, I got it. It's locked in. You want to make sure it's kind of locked in. That looks cool. I can't wait to try this one. So make sure it's in. And that's what was happening with the other ones. Like I said, this is kind of a cheap set. And sometimes it pays off to buy something better so you don't get frustrated with it. Well, for me anyways. Okay, let's try it. Fold it all in. I hope I have all that lace. We'll see. Look for my um, spatula. And it's extra thick, too. There we go. See, I don't like these, really. They, they're very, they dent easy. It's a cheap, I mean, they're probably good for what we use them for, but I also sew, and these would be cute. I like to make bags. It'd be cute to add to my bags. All right. Let's see if we got it. See how it, it dented? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I love that. How about a pearl in the middle of that one? Ooh, let me go find a pearl. Here we go. I like the pearl in the center of that. You know, and why couldn't you add lace around the edges of that? So what if we took this and we glued the bottom and just made a ruffle around the edge of it? Just a little on the edge. 
we probably could do a longer one too if I had a fat a wider I think I found nice. the perfect one and we can bend it at each corner or not corner but each side so let me try that I'm at the very end of this and I like to use it all so that's the back so we want it to we want the back down I think that's the back well I guess if I can't tell so we're gonna start and bring it around do you see how I'm just slightly turning it in a little bit here No, a problem it wasn't for the glue sticking to everything. This is one big mess. And there's your button. I might have next time used something that would, had more um, flexibility to it. I thought of using this. And I probably still could. Just because I don't like the way this is curling up as much. But it's still, I'm, I'm pleased with how it came out. So I want to thank everybody for watching my channel, and you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.